Welcome to Lynn Brizzy Page Builder with JP. This is a very small and sneaky page builder because we are just looking at a very, very tiny feature that was added recently to Brizzy, and that is the right click feature. Did you know that today, November 19th, is International Men's Day? Yeah. Seriously, I was on the web and I saw these things on Facebook being posted about it being Men's Day. And I, I had no clue. I went to check on Wikipedia and apparently it's been happening for years. Am I supposed to be getting a gift? No one gave me anything, you know, no breakfast in bed. What's the purpose of International Men's Day if I am not shrouded with gifts? Anyway, let's focus on the good stuff and let's look at the right click here in Brizzy. Well, the right click, if you've worked with other page builders, I mean, DV, Elementor, the whatnot, they all have right click and it's a very popular feature. Often, like in Elementor, if you have worked with the normal way and they bring in right click, it becomes difficult to get used to it. I, I find it still very difficult and I found myself also skipping the right click in Brizzy totally. So I thought, let's do this video, look quickly at what the right click does, and then in the future, I will try and force myself to use the right click. First of all, I'm pretty sure this video I will have to redo within a month or two because this right click is super basic. There's really almost little nothing that you can do with it. So I've got one of these pages that I've loaded into Brizzy. And if you right click over the text, it's going to give you duplicate or delete. And if you duplicate it, that's what it will do. And if you right click again and you say delete, that's what it will do. One of the features I do like in the right click is that often when I am looking at blocks that they've made and I click, for example, on this here, I cannot see what it is. There is no name here for what this element is. With the right click, I can see it says spacer. Uh, well, I just like to know, you know, like here you can see button and here you can see it's a text, etc. So for the elements, that's it. You are either going to duplicate it or you're going to delete it. Nothing astronomical here. But uh, let's hope the copy and paste titles come in the future. And everybody, I'm very sorry, do not get angry at me. Everybody should go and learn how DV has been doing this. You know, DV has got a lot of shortcomings, but when it comes to the extend styles, copy and paste styles, they are the forerunners on this. Elementor is doing a great job at catching up, but this is the way to go. It, it speeds up your workflow tremendously. So very basic stuff at the moment. Let's hope in the future we get all that extra functionality. Then you can for rows. So for example, in this one here, if you click on the row, you're going to get duplicate and delete. Same thing. If you are in a column, so your blue, blue box is always a column, and you right click now, you're going to get the option to add a new column. There you go. So it will add the new column. And if you right click again in the column, you can delete it. Same thing. Let's right click again. You can duplicate it and then it will duplicate. And again, you can delete it. And the only other thing I want to show, which is a little bit of a complaint, is when I'm in a block and I right click, I get the normal Google pop up. This is the only thing that I feel needs a little work on. Something needs to happen here that does not bring my Google into my page builder. I do not like that. I would like to have seen the right click as well. Good. Like I told you, this is a sneaky video. It's very short. Small feature. We've got the right click. More videos to come. And as these updates come out and as the improvements are done, I'll keep updating them. Have a very good International Men's Day.